In today's video, I'm going to show you how to live stream a pre-recorded video using OBS. So let's get into it. First thing, obviously, you need to go ahead and download OBS. So you're going to go to obsproject.com. I'm going to leave a link down below and you can go ahead and download either Windows version or a Mac version, depending on which operating system that you're using. Once you have it downloaded, all you got to do is simply just click to any of these icons. It's going to be in your download folder and go ahead and just click to wait. Follow instructions is actually super, super easy to install. Once you have it downloaded, OK, go ahead and open it and it's gonna look like this okay so the first thing we're gonna do guys we're gonna be using two scenes the first scene is gonna be what i call a welcome scene this is basically something to use before you go live with your pre-recorded video and we're gonna go ahead and go to this scene that's gonna be already right there and under that scene we're gonna hit the plus sign and then we are we're gonna add something called a media source okay under sources here so we're gonna go ahead and click to that and basically i'm gonna be using a countdown timer so we can name it countdown timer click ok and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and look for that countdown timer it's a five minutes countdown timer i got from streamtools.com click to it and uh, click ok and as you can see this is like a five minutes countdown timer and it's gonna be it's gonna give us basically five minutes before we actually go live with our clean pre-recorded video now you can use any countdown timer that you really want and if you need an actual professionally designed countdown timer you can go ahead and go to streamtools.com and choose any countdown timer that you actually like I have so many timers to choose from another thing you want to make sure you have your pre-recorded video already edited and ready to go so we're gonna go ahead and add our second scene let's call it video okay so basically we go under scene here we hit the plus sign and we add a scene called the video and you want to make sure that video scene is selected and then you're going to go ahead and click the plus sign under sources and we're going to hit the plus sign right there and then we're going to add another media source okay so for this one we're going to call it clean video again you can you can call it whatever you want and click ok and what we need to do is we're gonna go ahead and hit browse and we're gonna go ahead and look for the video that we want to be streaming which is our pre-recorded video so i'm gonna go ahead and select a random video right here and go ahead and click ok and as you can see the video is already playing now what i need to do guys of course you want to make sure you don't play right away so you can go ahead and click this button right here because the idea is you want to go to this scene first and once it's done counting down you want to switch to this scene right here so that people can watch actually your pre-recorded video another thing that you need to do that's super super important you want to make sure you go under audio mixer and then you go to advanced right click there and then click to advanced audio property and go to clean video and make sure under audio monitoring choose monitor and Phone output gonna be your so basically this is gonna allow you to be able to here basically if you have headphones you can actually be able to monitor video just to make sure that the audio is playing and you can do the same thing even on the first scene if you have some music on your countdown timer as well so you can actually be able to know what the audience is actually hearing on the stream so once everything is set up guys all you need to do is click your first scene which is your countdown timer after five minutes you're gonna right, switch guys, to, to the, channel. In the actual video, I'm video gonna show you right how here to build this rig right here and your video is gonna start playing now once everything is set up of course we are not live yet you want to make sure you go here and click the start live streaming button and to do that i'm not gonna show it to you right now because if you're streaming on youtube it's gonna be different from streaming on facebook that's why i have made two videos specifically showing you the best obs settings for either streaming to facebook the video is gonna be linked right here or streaming to youtube the video is gonna be linked right here so make sure you check them out depending on where you want to stream your pre-recorded video guys and i'll see you there take care